In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a mega menu using Elementor for free. Our mega menu is going to look just like this over here. For example, when I hover over our homepage, we have a full width section showing up with prices. Everything in here can be clickable. If I hover over the desserts, we get a flyout menu as well. And if I hover over the burgers, we have a mega menu as well, but this is only fixed to the content width. Our mega menu will be tablet and mobile friendly. For example, now when I click over here on the toggle icon, our menu shows up. But when I click, for example, on the burgers, our template shows up from Elementor. And under the desserts, our flyout menu shows up as well. If I'm to view our mega menu on a tablet device, by clicking over here on the toggle menu, and I click for the burgers, for example, we have our Elementor template showing up or our mega menu. And if I click on the desserts, our flyout menu here shows up as well. All right, if you ever wanted to create a mega menu in Elementor for free, this is a tutorial for you. And without any further ado, Let's jump straight into the video. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hamza. To keep this tutorial short and straight to the point, I'm going to mention the resources that you need so that before you get started, you already have them ready in your WordPress website. Number one, we are going to have to install the Max Mega Menu plugin. Under the plugins area, search for Max Mega Menu. Currently, it has over 400,000 active installs. Install, get it activated. Once it's activated, you'll see another menu item down below here having Max Mega Menu. The next we're going to do is, of course, you have to create your menus in WordPress. So under Appearance, Menus, you're going to create a menu. This will be your navigation for your WordPress website. For example, this is our menu having Home, Burgers, Desserts, and Order Now. This is it over here, home, burgers, desserts, and order now. The dessert menu item has submenu items, which are down below here, and these will appear in the flyout later on in this tutorial, like you will see. The other thing you have to have is your already created templates in Elementor. What you see over here, this is a template created in Elementor. And for the burgers as well, is a template created in Elementor. This flyout is created using the Max Mega menu. But to display these two templates, you need the Mega Menu plugin so that you have them show up in your navigation. So under Templates, come to the Sections area, and you can simply say Add a new template, and you want to create a section, and you'll give it a name. Currently, I already have my section selected that we'll be using in this tutorial. And these are the two sections that I have created. And this is for the Home, and this you see over here is for the Burgers. When I open up this section with Elementor, this section over here is stretched and is full width, just like you see here and over right here. So we have it float across the whole website page. And it is also responsive, so make sure that your sections that you will be creating are responsive on all devices. The other section that we have, which is going to appear under the buggers area, this is it over here. It's a box section having an inner section, and that inner section is holding our content. And inside here, you can add as much as many things that you want, text, buttons, and just simply save that section and you're good to go. All right, now this is how our page looks like. It doesn't have a menu. So to add a menu to our page, we are simply going to come back into our header. This is our header template. So we are going to look up for the Max Mega menu and drag it over right there. Two things I have to mention. One, you will not be able to use the Elementor Pro Nav widget to display this mega menu. So simply look up for the Max Mega Menu widget and drag it into your header. Second, you can as well create this mega menu even when you have the free version of Elementor because I have a tutorial down below here on how you can create headers and footers for free in Elementor. And the good thing is that you don't need the Elementor Pro widget or the Elementor Pro Nav widget to display this mega menu. All right, so once we have our mega menu widget from the max mega menu selected and added to our header, then down below here, we're going to select our menu location. 
and so far we only have the primary menu location as the one that is active simply because the menu we created is assigned to the primary location and that can be witnessed under the menus area and you realize that this menu that we have called the main menu is allocated to the primary section so once you have your menu created you can assign it wherever you want it to appear and inside your header then you'll be able to select that menu location so once you select your menu location it automatically populates your menu widget with the menu items there are some basic settings we have to do one with your primary location selected you can enable these things hover on intent for example that means that once someone hovers over a menu item our mega menu will show up the other thing is the effect a fade up a slide down or a slide up how fast do you want that mega menu to show up and the effect on mobile do you want to apply the same settings or you can simply just disable i left this over here on the default settings after that we head straight to our max mega menu settings and we'll come straight to the menu locations obviously we have our primary menu selected and still you can effect those other changes you made in the appearances area over here let's head straight to the menu themes you can create different menu themes depending on where you want to use them in your website you can have a menu theme for the blog or for the main site or for another taxonomy or category take for example in this case i'm using the default menu theme which i customize and that's how we could achieve something like this the settings for the menu theme will allow you to customize the typography the fonts the colors including even these icons here take for example the arrow select the arrow styles in this case you can choose to have an arrow up a down arrow and you can select among these arrows here i left everything over here on the default settings i didn't have to change anything under the menu bar the menu bar is what you see over right here and all the changes that you make over there they affect these menu items here for example i left the menu height to be 40 pixels the menu background to be transparent if i change this for example and let me put like a black I update i come to my preview site now you realize that our menu background is black that is not something that we want we want it to stay transparent to make it transparent i simply just set this up to transparent and over here transparent if you don't see the transparent options and just like this knob right here to transparency leave all these other settings to the default settings unless you want to apply like a menu padding menu border radius and all that stuff we'll now jump straight to the top level menu items the top level menu items are the items that you see over here home burgers dessert and order now and that's where we do all that styling for example you want the menu items to align on the right hand side this means that all our menu items will be aligned to the right hand side of our menu widget set the color for the item font for the top level menu items in this case i set this to white 20 pixels and we have lucida sans as our font family transform is uppercase and weight is 700 bold and it's in uppercase and in lucida sans as a font family if for example i change this color and give it like let me say a yellow i update i reload my header see how that now looks like we have our menu items but they are in yellow i'll come back over here and turn it back to white and for the item font on hover i set that to yellow and it's and it's bold with 700 as the weight for the item background and item background on hover i set this to be all transparent left all these on the default settings but you can make changes the way you want now that means that you have set up your top level menu items and how they should look like now let's go and style up our mega menus you can change the panel background color for the sub menu item what they mean by that is that when someone hovers over this item this background color that will appear on the sub menu item is what you can make changes to over here but in this case we're using a template and our template is going to come along with its own background color and that's why i chose to set these colors to transparency but this section over here is the most important for us in this tutorial the panel width you know when you create your templates with elementor you want them to appear in a certain way on your website you either want your mega menu template created using elementor to appear on your website as a full width or one that is based on the content width take for example by default this is set to 100 percent and the inner width also to 100 percent when i update this and i come onto our preview website 
This now by default takes up only the width of our navigation. But from our settings, we wanted that this section takes up the content width of our header from here to this other side. And to have that effected, you have to add a custom selector. And that's why over here we set that the outer width is going to be based on the body and the inner width is going to be based on this class. And this is the class that is telling Max Mega Menu the inner width of our container. And that is the container that is holding our header from here to here. And now when I update, I come here to our preview website. When I hover over the buggers, now you see that our section is based on our header width or our content width. But if that is not something that you want and you want that your whole section is running across the whole container, one of the ways you can do that is by using a custom selector here. In that case, you would choose that the outer width is based on the body and the inner width is based as well on the elemental section wrap. That is the class that is given to the width of your header. When we look into the inspector, you realize that I have this class over here called the elemental section wrap. When I grab that class, and I paste it over here, then I'm able to display my Elementor template across the whole page width. You can as well read further on how to use these custom jQuery selectors in Max Mega menu using this documentation. I'll be leaving the link right down in the description of the video. But in this case, I found a simple trick on how I can display my Mega menus, for example, this over here across the whole page width without using the custom selectors. And the trick is that I set this section to stretch when I was creating it in the Elementor templates. And now over here in the panel width, I simply left everything here to 100% or on the default settings to say. When I update here, I come to my preview website, I reload, you realize I have my section now running across the whole width of the page. With this set and figured out, then you are 90% through creating your mega menus using Max Mega Menu and Elementor. Now the question is, how do you choose what to display in your mega menus? For example, for the home item that your home mega menu shows up and for the buggers item, this mega menu shows up. To do that, we will head back into our Elementor dashboard and we are going to come straight to appearance and we go to menus. Inside the menus area, we have our menu items over right here. First, we are going to look into the two menu items, the home and the buggers. When I hover over the home menu item, I have a new option called mega menu. When I click over there, by default, you will not have anything right inside here. So you have to choose a layout that you want to use for the home item or for the home menu item. Either you want to use it as a flyout menu, a mega menu with a grid layout or a mega menu with a standard layout. In this case, I chose mega menu with a standard layout. Over right here, you can choose how many columns you want to use in this mega menu layout. I'll choose one column. And then I can choose a widget to display in my mega menu. I can choose between archives, audio, blogs, calendar, categories. But in this case, I'm interested in the Elementor library. Boom! There it shows up the first item in our mega menu. When I click over here on the wrench icon, I'm able to select a template that will show up in our mega menu. So in this case, I'll choose the donuts template and I'll simply save. When I save, that means that now we have set that our donuts template will now show up on hover of our home menu item, just like this. You can as well go ahead and make some settings or custom settings. You can go ahead and make custom settings for the home menu item. For example, under the icon settings, I chose that I wanted to use this icon for my home page, just like you see here. I can change that icon to something else. I'll choose this globe and I'll save the menu. Now, when I come to my preview page, I'll reload. Notice that this icon is going to change on reload. Awesome. Now we have looked into setting up a mega menu for our home menu item by choosing an Elementor template. Let's look into the buggers menu item. By hovering over there, you have the mega menu option show up. And you realize that as well here, I use the mega menu standard layout, having one column, and I have the Elementor template library which is echoing our cake section. And that is a template that is showing up over right here. Now let's go and look into how we can style up our fly out menu, which is the desserts menu item and having these sub menu items. When you look over here on our final page, you realize that for the desserts, it's a fly out menu. And we made sure that the style of our fly out menu is also matching our header. How do you do that? Inside our menus section, come over here to desserts 
and click on the mega menu item and in this case instead of choosing mega menu layout on grid or mega menu standard layout we chose a flyout menu and under the settings and the icons option i left everything here on the default settings but you can as well go ahead and make your own custom settings i'll close this over i'll make sure that i save the changes now i'll go straight to my mega menu under the menu themes i come straight to the flyout menus and under the flyout menus i set my sub menu background to be transparent and the sub menu width i left it on a default of 250 pixels if you make this like 450 for example you realize that our sub menus will take up more space here on the width when i reload this check that you see now it's way wider i'll come back here and i'll leave this to be 250 pixels then i went ahead and made custom stylings for example for the menu item background color i set it to this color menu item background on hover i set it to that color which is this so menu item background color is that but on hover it turns to that including the text colors right over here then as well enable a menu divider that white line that is just under each menu item now let's look into the other most vital section of this tutorial the mobile menu for the responsive breakpoint i set this to be on a tablet device and down below here i can make styling to my toggle button for example i can position it in to be in the middle or even at the extreme left hand side that means that when someone previews our toggle button on a tablet device it will be positioned somewhere here or in the middle in case you position it in the middle and on the right hand side if you position it on the extreme right hand side we left it to be on the extreme right hand side and then went ahead and made custom styling for our toggle button so by clicking over here on the toggle icon you can set the toggle icon color and the size of the toggle icon then down below here are some really vital settings you have to do for example the overlay content option if i don't have this enabled it pushes all the content down once someone clicks on the toggle button so you don't want that to happen that's why i made sure i check that option and also i forced that my flyout menu will take over the full width of the mobile device once that is set up you can go ahead and manage your padding menu background and all that stuff now we'll consider that a success and that means that you are ready to go once you are done with all your settings then you can simply come down below here and save changes and that way you'll have successfully set up your toggle button on mobile devices starting from the tablet device all right in a nutshell that's how you can create and set up your mega menu using the max mega menu plugin for free using elementor in case you have any questions or comments about this tutorial let me know down in the comment box below otherwise thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one